Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 57 of Road to 5 Million. And in this one, we're going to finish the run to Wasilla and find out exactly how much we're going to get penalized for having a late delivery. Let's get into it. Pretty sure we're going to hear the late delivery sound. Yep. I'm also fairly certain the reason I've had two late deliveries in Alaska is because of the speed limit being messed up on the roads and the time frame. But nonetheless, here we go. I did some more testing today. Strip. Good lord. So I did some more testing today on the whole uh, frames per second. Okay, I'm not on a rumble strip. What the hell? Okay, so if I could keep getting interrupted by the steering wheel on it wanting to violently shake out of my hand. So if you heard there, I just turned on the, on the lights. And previously my frames, look at that. I'm not even on the rumble strip or anywhere near it. Okay, this, this is probably going to be my last time in Alaska. Look at that. Hear that? See where I am in the lane? Yeah. Anyway, so back to frames per second. All right, now I'm just getting pissed. Well, holy crap, it's way over there, too. All right, yay. This is going to be a fun episode. Um, anyway, frames. Holy crap. Under options and graphics, if you scroll down to the bottom, there's a setting called light visibility range or something like that. It's low, medium, or high. Well, I had it set to high. And when I would turn the lights on in this truck, the frames would be cut in half. That's nice to see that this is going to be this like this all the way down. It wasn't like this on the way up. Again, test your map before you put it out, especially when you're charging for it. Anyway. So... I was messing around with different things and all I did was set that visibility range to medium and now the frames barely take a hit. They may take like six frames and the whole time a bunch of us running this specific truck thought it was because something the modder needed to do differently which the more a bunch of us are testing things and looking into things it's it I don't think it's the truck at all I think it's the game engine and I did the test on my main profile same exact truck 
but I was sitting out front of my garage and I changed the time so it was nighttime and, and all of that stuff and did different tests and putting the light visibility range to medium actually made the lights appear more real outside the garage so the other thing I did was I unchecked the box that is for secondary vehicle lights or something like that um, I also unchecked the box for vehicle headlights and I found what that does if anyone's wondering the traffic headlights will still show at night they just won't shine on the ground that really didn't have an effect I mean maybe one to two frames per second not that big of a deal so anyway if you play this game and you're experiencing that issue just go into graphics scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see the traffic headlight or traffic or actually I'm geez now I'm screwing myself up light visibility distance I believe is what it's called anyway there's only three options low medium or high set it to medium see what happens if you're having this issue if you're not then just leave it alone but anyway that's been most of my Saturday so far was doing that and I was really excited to hop on here and record and get this load delivered and I'm getting more pissed off the more I'm driving because of the road texture being off so again I know I've said it before, but I'll just reiterate. A, a neat, different experience. Not worth 20 bucks in my mind. Like, look at that. I'm... I mean, I could understand if it was in, like, a little section. But it seems like it's the whole freaking way down. And also, why is the speed limit 50 here, right? We're on pavement. Why is it 50 here, but it was 60 on the frick... On the part between Coldfoot and oh my god this is really pissing me off folks because again with the force feedback on this wheel every time I hit one of those the whole my whole monitor just vibrates up there and yeah somebody's gonna be like well turn your force feedback down no because I don't have this issue any other time than like right now when I'm on this or driving at this speed on gravel, which I don't drive this speed on gravel. And just in the event, I feel like I need to say this in the event somebody's watching this and they're even remotely thinking about commenting that I'll make that $20 back because of ad revenue on these videos. Save your time and your breath and your whatever because I'm not even monetized. So there's that. In the big scheme of things, it was 20 bucks. Is that that big of a deal? No. But still, it's 20 bucks I gotta spend on something else. And the more I think about it, the more I'm probably gonna sit down and thoughtfully
draft an email up. To these folks. Okay, so now it's fine. Is it like that in this lane? No. Well, I say it's fine. It was fine for right there. Okay, and now it's back. Now it's fine. Nope, now it's back. All right. Yeah, and again, I... I feel like I've harped on this on every video, but it's just... It's shit like this that frustrates me. And I, I'm, I'm assuming this map has been out for a while because I think one of the first videos I watched on it was from two years ago. Which yards, turn left. also makes me wonder if this map has been out for that damn long. It's not like they just turn added left. Prudhoe Bay, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, I know they didn't because the video I watched from a year ago, that's how I knew about the weather change in Fairbanks. What the hell is it? Okay, see now, what the hell is this GPS doing? You see what's going on up here? Okay, well, what's going on is I'm an idiot and was talking and not paying attention. That's what's going on. Apparently, we we're already there. <laughs> but yeah, so back to that. If this map has been out for that long, right? Nobody's said anything about this, number one. And if they have... The map maker hasn't fixed it, but yet they're still charging $20 and just making money off people. Yeah, that's what most of us would call complete bullshit. So that's my verdict. Once we get out of Alaska, you will never see this map again in this series. Actually, you won't see it again at all from me, period. Go straight. said turn right as I was coming down this way maybe she did and I was all talking about the map okay I can almost guarantee she didn't say turn right because she didn't say turn left there Okay, so now it's going to want us to...
I got news for you. I am not. You know what? F it, you only live once, right? Let me see if I can do this. If not, I'm going to have to go in the options and turn on the uh, easy parking. All right, so I need to do this backwards. Because if I go this way, that's going to push that first trailer like that, which is going to kick that other one out. So I need to go this way. No, I was right the first time. All right, Ty, so get in your head. So this... No, why... See, and also, this is why you don't, you don't back doubles up. Because of that little dolly, especially back there. Oh, now I'm freaking stuck. Yeah, see what that dolly just did right there? Just like completely twisted. Alrighty, hey, good freaking episode, Ty. You are doing fantastic, son of a bitch, man. I really hope this works. It may not. I know I have it on skilled parking right now, but hopefully that automatic parking dialog box. I'm probably going to have to go back to it, though, somehow. Which means I'm going to have to spin around. Can I do that in this lot, or am I going to have to go out to the road? I'm going to have to go out to the road, okay? with me folks had no idea this was going to be this big of, of a fluster cuck almost makes me wonder how we were supposed to park if I would have uh Okay. Um, if I would have grabbed that load of triples coming down here. Now, are there people that could probably back this set of doubles up into that spot? Yeah. That, and you know what? More freaking power to them. Okay, so now when it said you've reached your destination, we should get a pop-up dialogue. I would hope. Who the hell knows, though, knowing this damn map? Or maybe I was supposed to stop back there. The more I think about it, I was probably supposed to stop back there. Okay, fine. question is, can I back up to this spot without jacking these trailers up? And that, that back one's already getting all freaking screwed up. You know what? I'm just gonna... Y'all 
enjoying this because this is Ty not having any fun whatsoever. And now I'm almost thinking if I do draft an email to them, I'm going to have to wait a couple of days because right now it's not going to be that nice of a one. And there we have the rumble strips again. Well, third time's a charm, they say, right? No, this isn't even the... All right. Jesus Christ, Ty. I don't even know if this is for this spot. That may be a different business down there. It obviously is. Okay, fine. Son of a bitch. Oh, okay, so now I apparently have to drive in here. Now I see it with the little flag on it. Now that I did always select. Okay, fine. I'll play your silly game. Yeah, I'm not even doing that. How about I'm in a hurry and your map freaking blows? Okay, 116 grand even after being late, which the original load I was going to bring down here was going to pay 30 something. And we probably still would have had a late penalty because of the time issues in this map. So I can't be too disappointed with that. Let's see what they have to get the hell out of here. I may just fast travel. I don't know. We'll see. I'm definitely not going anywhere. I just want the hell out of here. As soon as possible. And everything's going in. Oh, no. Here's this to Montana. Sold. I didn't even notice where it picked up. Did it just spawn our truck in the... Apparently. Oh, I also figured out, remember how I told you that this map was all cockeyed? Um, the reason it was, if anyone has that same issue, is you need to go into, I believe it's gameplay again, and right here, map alignment. For some reason, I thought this meant on your GPS, but apparently it doesn't. It's your background map. And what I had it on was north locked. So it made it look like you were on a globe, right? It always... Anyway, I put it to always north. And now it's correct. So that's how I fixed that issue. <clears throat> All right, let's go get this load picked up and get the hell out of here. I wasted 25 minutes fighting with that shit.
sad part is I have to drive back down that lane. See, this lane is fine. And again, she's not going to say anything. Okay. Oh, awesome. And this is all gravel, so let's keep the shaking to a minimum. That's quite the road. You have reached your destination. I'm not gonna lie, that delivery I did in Canada that I was telling you all about a couple episodes ago on my main profile, that was kinda similar. Alright, let's get this picked up and get the hell out of here. No. 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 I didn't even see what the ferry ride costs. I'm assuming it's going to be like almost three grand like it was last time. Jeez, that was a big bump. Again, nice touch. The map maker had nothing to do with this. Just FYI. But the nice touch that I'm talking about is see the blocks underneath the front of the trailer. These trailers are designed, obviously, to be put on the ground. But by dropping it on blocks like that, it's easier to get under. Because typically for trucks like this with an RGN, and the ones that we ran that actually had the top deck up there. There was additional pieces welded to your frame that were kind of like a little ramp that went right up to your fifth wheel. And then the front of the trailer had wheels on it, basically, or rollers that would hit those ramps and roll right up. Um, but also that puts a lot of stress on that connection where the neck meets the trailer too, but anyway. I'm trying to think if I have a, I don't think I have a picture of the back end of my Pete with those ramps on it when I was working with TMC. I didn't even, sorry, I'm all sidetracked here. So there's the load info. Let 
This would not be a fun time taking this trailer out of here in real life with these ruts, holy crap. As low as these trailers sit. Later, dudes. Yeah, that, ladies and gentlemen, was the bottom of the trailer scraping on the ground. Holy crap. These are some tight-ass turns for this. That thud you also heard was the trailer hitting the ground back there. there I guarantee you if that was real life we would have been stuck there's only so much one of these will move as it comes to dirt like that and then you're just kind of SOL ask Ask me how I know. I got out of the situation all by myself. However, it was probably technically a tow truck information or a tow truck situation. thing as I look at the time it's a 26 hour run but I forgot to put a marker here at the ferry all right so five hours to the ferry I guess I could turn my lights on huh I guess I should probably turn my beacons on too. And since we are good, oh, Jesus, I have to be over here. Yeah, we are, okay. in the last video where I started out talking about mods I was uh, noticing that I thought I had some duplicate mods like when it comes to a real world stuff I took some of those out that I think are duplicates so it'll be interesting to see if we or if I notice anything different I guess with trailers 
and business names, basically. Definitely liking this realistic rain mod over what's in the brutal graphics and weather for me personally. Anyway. Oh wow, that was a. Okay. I guess it makes sense. Notice how my high beams aren't as bright as they were before? Okay, Ty, let's freaking... Why did I lose? I had zero... It was like I was on ice. So the light visibility. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Um... Moving that down to medium is what is doing that. Okay, so there needs to be an adjustment. See how, like, up on that truck trailer now, his... Oh, I know why that's like that. I bet you that's the secondary light thing, maybe. Okay, one moment. We'll test this for the sake of science. And we will see. No, I don't know what the secondary light thing has. Oh, are we? Okay. Fine. Maybe that was secondary light visibility. I didn't read it very well, but oh, I guess I could turn my high beams off. So maybe this is a downfall of having your light visibility range to medium. Could you? Okay. Maybe a downfall having your light set to medium. See how dark it is? Oh, these streetlights aren't even on. Oh, they are. Yeah, SCS software, fix your lighting issue. Like, that should not be that big of a deal. Or big of a difference. on medium it's I don't know it's it's weird oh my okay could we could we remember Ty that with 
it raining, you don't have the traction. Not to mention you can't see a freaking thing. So in my testing I did earlier today, I didn't actually drive around, I was just sitting. I did fly around with the dev console, but I didn't notice the lights being that freaking dim. Oh my god, man. Wow, this is just one hell of an episode, isn't it? Makes me wonder the way these lights are at night. I wonder if taking the, uh, I think the real, holy crap, I almost went off the freaking. I think the realistic light thing though I have is just realistic vehicle lights. I could probably see better if I was actually sit. Why is this not? Holy crap! I had you have no idea how far my steering wheel was turned to make that. Good lord! dude. Got a nice little thunderstorm going on. find weird is 
It never got this dark north of Fairbanks. out of fuel too perfect we'll make it to the ferry though eventually slow incident ahead does that mean slow incident ahead or is it a slow incident ahead oh just come on over dude think about this good lord that was a good lightning crack the more I think about this I don't think that setting I changed has anything to do with the truck headlights because if memory serves me correctly they were kind of crappy on low anyway and almost like daytime on high which is kind of how it is now Frickin' turn, holy crap. You have no idea how I just wanna scrap this frickin' episode at this point.
Yeah, so the more I'm watching the traffic lights and everything at night, it seems to me like you either need to deal with a severe hit in the frames or take a chance on vehicles. Being able to see them. Looking at some of these businesses here, I need to maybe put that. No, there's a Starbucks sign. Go straight. realized too I guess the other thing I should have tried was or I mean I could have tried is oh now we're gonna do the rumble strip thing nice other thing I could have tried is put the viewing the light viewing distance back to high since I've been driving at night for the majority of this damn episode at least it's done raining Again, now that it's done raining, my headlights seem to be fairly normal.
And I can see the headlights and the cars behind me a fair distance. So I don't know. What I do know though is I can't wait to get back to the ferry. Because my fun meter for this map is absolutely pegged to the point where when I'm done recording this episode before I exit the game I'm going to back out to the launch manager and it's getting removed from the mods right then and there Thanks for running into my trailer, dude. Appreciate you. so screwed up I'm probably gonna have to back up See, I was smart. I got to thinking about the fuel prices. It makes more sense to fill up here than it does once we get to Washington State. <sighs> Shut the hell up. Oh, yeah, brake tie. That would be nice. Now, can I get out of here without... Is this going to... Follow? No, it's not, because I'm hit. Jesus Christ, man.
I was thinking about it too, I guess I could have slept right there because I think what's going to happen is we're just going to have to sleep once we get to the States anyway. Or I say the States, I mean Washington State. Technically we're in the States, right? Because Alaska's a state. And my apologies for my mood and my attitude towards the later half of this episode, but I'm, I mean, I'm just fed up with it. Although, I will say, I did have a better time with my $20 doing this for the last few days than I would have walking into a casino and then walking out five minutes later without $20. So, there's that. Sorry, folks. I'm cutting in line. What's up, dude? Well, I'm definitely not going. Wait a minute. Why the hell? The funny part is it's the same amount of time. It just costs more to go. Yeah, okay. All right, so we had to rest in one hour and five minutes. Oh, now I got to take another one? Why can't I go from there? Why can't I? All right. Whatever. Um, excuse me. Didn't we just do this? What the hell was that all about? And now we have four hours and 15 minutes before we have to rest. 49 hours remaining on the job and apparently 18 hours and 30 minutes to get there. I'm parking right here. I don't give a damn. Actually, you know what? I'll pull up here to figure this out. Because my luck, if I stay on the boat when I come back into the game, I'm who knows where the hell I'll be. My graphics textures look weird. And I haven't done anything to my graphics textures. Huh. Anyway. 
let's let's figure out where the hell four hours it's probably gonna be that's two fifty one could come up there and discover that dealership or we could just come up here wait a minute why do I still have a oh because it didn't all right thank you that's 524 so we definitely can't make it there um Oh, here's a Peterbilt deal we haven't discovered, so I would rather stop there instead of over there because we don't need fuel. So that's what we'll do at the uh, start of the next episode. We'll run down here and sleep. Or I may do this off camera and run down here and sleep, and we'll start here and go. That way we're starting on a fresh clock. Or I may just leave it. I know people liked it don't want to miss anything so I may just leave it but I've already we've already been going an hour and 10 minutes so far so other than that let me uh we are doing good though if you remember I paid the bank off so that's all free and clear at the moment which is good and with that ladies and gentlemen episode 57 comes to an end and I can't be more excited for that to be done holy crap if you made it this far I appreciate you if you haven't subscribed yet please do and don't forget to drop a like on your way out and until the next one y'all take care